just approaching half past nine. Calling all cars, calling. There's a direct correlation between the numbers of high and ultra high net worth individuals and the number of luxury yachts that have sold. Projections around the world is that the number of high net worth individuals will grow by about 20% between now and 2020. So if there's a direct correlation, you expect that growth to, to, in the luxury yacht market to be the same. Um, the fortunate thing is the world is becoming generally a wealthier place. So those growth in ultra high net worth individuals are in Asia, yes, some of the emerging markets, and Africa, but we're seeing, expecting to see a growth in the United States, UK, and Europe as well. Nearly 50% of our business is uh, in Europe. Um, so obviously what, what happens in the, with, within the European market is of great concern and great interest to, to Sunseeker. Um, and the thing that we really need to focus on is confidence levels, certainty. Um, we've benefited because of the, the weakness of the pound, um, but it's all about business confidence. Undoubtedly, there's an advantage to, uh, to the currency exchange being where it is, and we saw that in Cannes. Uh, we saw a lot of boats being sold where the transaction uh, was um, uh, really, really pushed along because of the opportunity to get, uh, to get benefit out of the exchange rates. <laughs> The uncertainty is, uh, is something that absolutely grips our segment. Um, whether it's cars or houses or travel, um, there's no denying that a yacht, as wonderful as it is, is not a necessity item. Um, so it's always a conversation about, is it the right time? Uh, yeah, he's... Uh... <laughs> A lot of it's about lifestyle, um, it's about how they're going to use the boat. Our clients really come onto these boats and use them. Um, so they t they're tending to look for lots of open spaces, luxurious spaces, um, spaces where they can entertain both inside and out. Um, and also, clients nowadays, they want something unique, so they want to work with us on completely personalising their boat and finding something that is unique to them and actually has never been used on other boats. It is the shop window for the British manufacturers. Um, here customers can come down and compare 
all the British brands as well as the brands uh, represented from around the world and choose exactly what is for their specific requirement. Well, we've had an, a, an overnight decrease in the price of our boats in areas such as uh, the European market. At Cannes Boat Show last year, um, our boats were 15% more expensive than this year. And at Cannes Boat Show, we saw the most successful show in Fairline's history in that region. Obviously, industry and business need stability, and the time it will take uh, to, uh, to exit from the European Union will be problematic. But we are lobbying government hard. We need to understand what's going to be in these free trade agreements and what's going to happen about the free movement of goods and people within the European community.